Hello, my name is Steve Warren, and with my business partner Neil Campbell, we're the creators of Music One. It's professional music scheduling software and used by broadcast radio stations around the world. M1 was introduced to the market in 1994, and before that, I'd created the first music scheduler for the Macintosh, which came out in 87. So, we've been around for a long time. Music One SE is a special, very low-cost edition of our scheduling software, created specifically for webcasting. This video is a quick introduction to music scheduling software. If you've worked in broadcast radio, what I'm going to talk about here will seem pretty basic to you, but if you've not worked in broadcast radio, I want to explain a few of the fundamentals. Music One is a dedicated music scheduler. It has a built-in player so you can click and hear songs as you're working with it, but this is just for auditioning. Music One is not a broadcast automation or webcasting system. It does not deliver the web stream itself. You maintain and schedule all of your songs and your station IDs and promos and voice tracks and all of your content with Music One. You work with it to quickly and efficiently schedule each day's programming. Music One then makes a playlist file that is imported by Sam Broadcaster. This playlist file can also be used by Windows Media Player, Winamp, and most of the other popular webcasting playout systems. Music One allows you to pre-plan the rotation patterns of your library. Some groups of songs you'll want to play more frequently, some less frequently. You can input formatting and music flow rules. For example, you might tell Music One you don't want to play too many songs in a row by female singers to spread them out. Or you don't want two slow songs to be scheduled back to back. You can tell it not to schedule this kind of song next to that kind of song. If you have a lot of songs in rotation by one artist, you might tell Music One to separate those by an hour or 90 minutes. If you're playing only a handful of songs by another artist, you could set the separation time for that one at several hours. Webcasting software is made for webcasting. They are players. That's what they do. They deliver the stream. Sam Broadcaster has an excellent audio processor built into it. Just listen to a song with Winamp, then play that same song with Sam, and you can hear a dramatic difference. You can tell Sam how to do crossfades for super smooth transitions. But scheduling music and other content is not something they were designed to do. This is an entirely different discipline, and to do it properly, it requires a tool designed for this specific task alone. Now, webcast playout systems do have methods for doing some scheduling on a rudimentary level. Webcasters can set up some kind of song rotation system using their webcast software, based on folders. Songs can be grouped together in certain ways, maybe by decade, maybe by style or tempo or era. The webcaster then moves songs of each type into the folders and directs the digital automation playout system to schedule a song from folder A, one from folder B, one from folder C, and then repeat. But such a system ultimately doesn't work very well for a variety of reasons. For example, what happens when slow songs come to the top of the stack in folders A, B, and C? For 15 or 20 minutes, you sound like an all-ballad, sleepy time station. While there are some similarities to the schedule by folder system and scheduling with Music One, this software greatly expands your ability to control proper tempo flow and artist separation and preventing songs from repeating at the same time of day or in the same sequence and a lot more. It gives you total precision control of your content and music flow.